so excited. Our whole backyard is pool, guys. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Janet. Welcome back to my channel. I love outdoor living space and in today's video, I'm sharing how we got an underground fiberglass pool and landscaped the whole thing ourselves. I did film this quite some time ago, so I'm going to voice over the pretty much the whole video, but I just wanted to film a quick intro and say if you have any questions on the process, just comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But let's go ahead and get started with the video. This is Day one of digging, our excavation team came out to try to dig up the area and realize that we have like rock and clay, so they weren't able to finish and have to do it with some special tools, but I wanted to update the entire process. Here I'm showing our outdoor living space. I've already made a couple of videos on this, so I can link them below for you on how like I decorated that area. And then I'm just sharing what will be the outline of cement, which that will be cement. And then the pool is that big white circle. There's my dog Rocky, where I plan to put some plants and where we're gonna like have lawn chairs and laying out. Moving on to a different view and another day, they were able to come in and dig out all the dirt and get ready to drop the pool in. This will be cement, of course, and then out there, on the sides is where I plan to put all our tropical plants. My theme will be tropical vibes, kind of like from Playa del Carmen, Mexico is what I was thinking. Here is where they've already kind of broken up some of our previous cement and we've had to move everything inside so it wouldn't get dirty, but this is where we're at so far. Here is another update. The pool has been dropped in. We are having a fiberglass pool. It is better for Texas because the ground is very hard and if it shifts, the pool won't crack. So that's why we went this route. But I can't believe it's been dropped in. We were at work when this happened, so I didn't get to film it, but it's super exciting. Next, we're shopping. We've decided to do all our own landscaping because we had a um, someone come out and give us kind of a bid and it was just super expensive. So we are in my hometown of the Rio Grande Valley. We had to go down there for a family emergency and kind of actually stumbled upon this like palm tree tropical farm. I'll link it below if you're from that area, but we picked out all our trees that we want to plant ourselves, and we rented a truck basically to have them brought to Austin. Um, that's one of the palm trees that we're getting that's being loaded onto the truck we rented. And then over here are just some extra palm trees and little grass that we're gonna plant ourselves. I'm very excited about the process. It was a fraction of a cost to do it ourselves. If we would have had it done, I think they gave us a cost of like five or $6,000. And we literally got it for probably maybe everything for like $1,500. Um, so this is just what we've picked out, some white birds of paradise, some palm trees and little grass. And then that's the truck we're gonna take it back to Austin on. We made it home and all the plants are on our patio right now waiting to get planted now. But it's crazy. We made it home from my hometown and update, the cement is being poured around the pool now. Super exciting, it's coming close and I can't believe it. Here, the cement has been poured and we are getting ready to start planting and landscaping in the backyard. We have everything ready. It did rain the night before, which is supposedly a good thing when you're planting things. Um, but we removed all the grass, which was like the biggest pain in the butt. We should have had the team remove it for us, but we did it ourselves. And now we're gonna start digging the holes to start putting the trees in the dirt. We've kind of like put them where we think we want them. And then that's one of the holes that we've started digging. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, the dirt is really hard here in Texas or where my backyard is. So. We had to rent a special tool to kind of get deeper in there because we couldn't do it ourselves. We have spent the entire day digging and planting. 
we have the palm trees in the ground now on this side so there is that is the bigger one is called arubalini palm and then the two smaller ones are called sega palms we also have some banana plants there if you can see on either side uh, they're a little smaller than I envisioned but we've got them in the ground and some of this garlic like grass I think it's called if I remember the names I'll link everything below on this side of the area we're holding off to plant the rest of it because they're going to texturize our cement and it could get like the trees dirty so the other side they can pepper it but everything of the cement still has to have like this cooling texturized done it's been raining so they haven't been able to do that but we did get a lot done we have had the pavement texturized now if you can see it's not just like a white cement anymore it's actually uh, kind of like a matte color to match our pool and it keeps the ground cooler now we're laying down this black tarpy stuff so we're gonna place rocks all over this backyard the process is putting this black stuff so weeds and grass don't grow over it and it is so tedious and annoying but that's what we're working on today we're all finished i'm giving you a tour this is the covered patio which i have a video linked below on how i decorated this entire space and then coming up here is our dining area where we have dinner I love fire pits everywhere. And then here is the finished landscaping where we planted all the trees and then the pool view. Everything is done and we love it so much. There's a hubs relaxing already in our tanning station. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.